Hello everyone! Today we're going to discuss the rectangular components of a force. Rectangular components of a force is the process of breaking the force into mutually perpendicular components which are equivalent to the given force. Let's say we have a force F that acts upon the given body. This force F obtains the perpendicular components Fx and Fy. Applying trigonometry to solve for f of x, we have cosine theta is equals to f of x over f. Then, cross multiplying it so that we can have an equation for f of x, we have f of x is equals to f multiplied by cosine theta. Next is to solve for our f of y. To solve f of y is we're going to still apply trigonometry. So if we're going to apply trigonometry, we have sine theta is equals to f of y over f. Then cross multiplying it so that we can have an equation for our f of y. We have f of y is equals to f multiplied by sine theta. In solving the components of a force, we have to take note of the following sign conventions. So if our figure is located up to the right, take note that our f of x and f of y are both positive. When our figure is located down to the right, take note that our f of x is positive while our f of y is negative. When the figure is located up to the left, f of x is negative and f of y is positive. When the figure is located down to the left, f of x and f of y are both negative. There are times that the direction of the force is defined by its slope instead of its angle. To solve for our f of x, we need to apply trigonometry. Recalling the formula we have a while ago for our f of x, which is f multiplied by cosine theta. To solve for our cosine theta, we need to substitute the given, which is x and y. So as you can recall in our trigonometry, the formula for getting the cosine theta is just um, adjacent over the hypotenuse. If we're going to look at the given triangle here, the adjacent side is x and the hypotenuse is just the square root of x squared plus y squared. That's why our f of x now is equals to f multiplied by x over the square root of x squared plus y squared. To solve for our f of y, still we're going to apply trigonometry. Recalling the formula we have a while ago for f of y, which is f multiplied by sine theta. To get the value of our sine theta, we need to substitute our given, which is x and y. Recalling in our trigonometry, the equation for our sine theta, which is um, opposite over the hypotenuse. If we're going to look at the given triangle, the opposite side here is y, and the hypotenuse is just the square root of x squared plus y squared. That is why our f of y is equals to f multiplied by y over the square root of x squared plus y squared. If you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing to show your support so that I can make other videos like this. Let's have some examples to apply the concept that we have discussed a while ago. For number 1, we have to compute the x and y components of each of the three forces shown in the figure below. Let's solve for ax and ay first. To solve for ax and ay, we need to focus on the force A, which is equivalent to 300 newton, inclined in an angle which is 25 degrees.
Solving for AX, as you can see, AX is just an adjacent side. That's why the formula in getting the AX is equals to A multiplied by cosine theta. Then the theta is 25 degrees, so that's why it becomes A multiplied by cosine 25 degrees. Our A is equivalent to 300. Then the theta is 25 degrees, so that's why it is 300 multiplied by cosine 25 25 degrees. Using your calculator, we can get the value of our AX which is equivalent to 271.9 Newton. The sign convention for our AX is positive because as you can see in the figure, the force is positioned up to the right and recalling the sign convention for that, AX is positive in that position. Solving for our AY, as you can see in the figure, AY is the opposite side. That's why AY is equivalent to A sine theta. Then the theta here is 25 degrees and the A is equivalent to 300. That's why AY is equals to 300 multiplied by sine 25 degrees. Using your calculator, we can have a value of our AY which is equivalent to 126.8 Newton. The sign convention here is positive because as you can see in the figure, it is positioned up to the right and recalling in our sign convention, AY is positive in that position. Next is we're going to solve for BX and BY. Solving for BX and BY, we need to focus on our force B which is equivalent to 500 Newton. Solving for BX, as you can see, BX is located on the opposite side in the given figure. So that's why BX is equivalent to B multiplied by sine theta. B is equivalent to 500 and theta is equivalent to 20 degrees. That's why BX is equal to 500 multiplied by sine 20 degrees. Using your calculator, we can have a value of BX which is 171 Newton. The sine convention is positive because as you can see in the figure, the force is positioned up to the right and BX is positive in that position. Solving for BY, as you can see in the figure, BY is at the adjacent side. That's why we have an equation for BY, which is B multiplied by cosine theta. B is equivalent to 500 Newton and theta is equivalent to 20 degrees. That's why we have BY is equals to 500 multiplied by cosine 20 degrees. Using our calculator to get the value of BY, so we have BY is equivalent to 469.8 Newton. The convention here is positive because the force is positioned up to the right and BY is positive in that position. Next is we're going to solve for our CX and CY. Here we need to focus on our force C which is equivalent to 800 Newton inclined in an angle 50 degrees. To solve for CX, as you can see in the figure, CX is at the adjacent side. That's why we have an equation CX is equals to C multiplied by cosine theta. C is equals to 800 Newton and theta is equivalent to 50 degrees. That's why Cx is equals to 800 multiplied by cosine 50 degrees. Using our calculator to get the value of our Cx, we have Cx is equals to 514.2 Newton. Take note that the sign convention here is negative because as you can see in the figure, the force is positioned up to the left and recalling it, Cx is negative in that position. Solving for Cy, as you can see in the figure, Cy is at the opposite side. So we have here an equation for CY which is 
equivalent to C multiplied by sine theta. C which is equal to 800 newton and theta which is 50 degrees. That's why we have Cy is equals to 800 multiplied by sine 50 degrees. Using our calculator to get the value of Cy, we have 612.8 newton. Take note that the sign convention here is positive because as you can see, the force is positioned up to the left and recalling it, CY is positive in that position. For number 2, we need to compute the X and Y components of each of the forces shown in the figure below. First, let's solve our Tx and Ty. To solve for Tx and Ty, we need to focus on our force T which is equivalent to 722 newton. Take note that the given here is a slope which is we have a y value which is 3 and the x value is equivalent to 2. To solve for our Tx, we need to recall the formula we have discussed a while ago, which is Tx is equals to T multiplied by x over the square root of x squared plus y squared. Here, the value of T is 722, then the value for x is 2, and the value of y is 3. That's why we have our equation for Tx, which is equivalent to 722 times 2 over the square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared. Using our calculator to get the value of our Tx, we have Tx is equals to 400.49 Newton. Take note that the sign convention here is negative because as you can see in the figure, the force is positioned up to the left and Tx is negative in that position. Next is we're going to solve for our ty. To solve for ty, we need to recall the formula we have a while ago, which is ty is equals to t multiplied by y over the square root of x squared plus y squared. Here, t is equivalent to 722 and y is equivalent to 3 and x is equivalent to 2. That's why we have an equation ty is equals to 722 multiplied by 3 over the square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared. Using our calculator, we will we can have a value for our ty which is 600.74 newton. Take note that the sign convention here is positive because as you can see in the figure, the force is positioned up to the left and ty is positive in that position. Next is we're going to solve for our px and py. Here, we need to focus on our P, which is equivalent to 200 newton, inclined in an angle 60 degrees. To solve for our Px, as you can see, Px is at the adjacent side. That's why we have Px is equals to P multiplied by cosine theta. Here, P is equivalent to 200 newton and theta is equivalent to 60 degrees. That's why we have Px is equals to 200 multiplied by cosine 60 degrees. Using our calculator to compute the value of Px, we have Px is equals to 100 Newton. Take note that the sign convention here is positive because as you can see in the figure, the force is positioned up to the right and Px is positive in that position. Next is we're going to compute for our PY. As you can see in the figure, PY is at the opposite side. That's why we have here PY is equals to P multiplied by sine theta. P is equivalent to 200 Newton and theta is equivalent to 60 degrees. That's why we have PY is equals to 200 multiplied by sine 60 degrees. Using our calculator to get the value for our PY, we have PY is equivalent to 173.21 Newton. Take note that the sign convention is positive because as you can see, the force is positioned up to the right and PY is positive in that position. Session. Next is we're going to compute for our f of x and f of y. Here we need to focus on our force F which is equivalent to 448 Newton. Take note that the given here is a slope which is 
our x value is 2 and our y value is 1. To solve for our f of x, we need to use the formula we have discussed a while ago. So we have f of x is equals to f multiplied by x over the square root of x squared plus y squared. Here, the value of f is 448 newton. The value of x is 2 and the value of y is 1. That's why we have f of x is equal to 448 multiplied by 2 over the square root of 2 squared plus 1 squared. Using our calculator to compute the value for our f of x, we have f of x is equivalent to 400.70 newton. Take note that the sign convention here is positive because as you can see in the given figure, the force is positioned down to the left and the f of x is positive in that position. Next is we're going to compute for our f of y. Recalling the formula we have discussed a while ago, we have f of y is equals to f multiplied by y over the square root of x squared plus y squared. The value of f here is 448, y is equals to 1, and x is equals to 2. That's why we have f of y is equals to 448 multiplied by 1 over the square root of 2 squared plus one squared. Using our calculator to compute the value for our f of y, we have f of y is equals to 200.35 newton. Take note that the sign convention here is negative because as you can see in the figure, the force is positioned down to the left and f of y is negative in that position. That's all for today's video. I hope you learned something from this. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.